Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, if you didn't know, yesterday I did do a live stream of the Hirameki no Yugi Jo, the new stage uh, that limits the amount of turns you have to clear a stage. Um, I know it's last minute, wasn't sure if I was able to get back from work in time, and I'm sort of sick, so I wasn't sure if I could talk even. Um, but it happened, and I got up to stage four, but didn't wasn't able to complete stage five in the hour. Uh, I decided to keep that stream up, but eventually I got it. So let's take a look. So you have four battles to go through and you have 16 turns to do it. Um, you need mines and warps. The mines hurt a lot and you can't move around without no warp. So first stage, um, you can uh, wedge yourself up there in the top uh, pair of uh, those mech birds. And that's pretty important. Then you're going to want to try and bounce yourself into the next set of mech birds there. And then we have Skull, <coughs> uh, who is going to bounce around and hopefully get into that next set of mech birds. And uh, come on, there you go, planned. <coughs> um, so you have five turns before they explode on you, so uh, it's pretty unforgiving. Now, the second stage, you have sets of the uh, what glob dudes and the mech birds. <coughs> So the mech leftmost uh, glob dude goes with the bottom left mech bird, which I took down that pair, so they won't revive. Um, next up is the top right blob with the bottom mech bird. Um, take those out as a pair and <clears throat> come on. All right, not perfect, but. <clears throat> Um, the important thing is if you whittle them down, you're fine. Of course, that big counter on the left of the mech bird is a big white blast of death. So, uh, don't worry about it. You gotta worry about that. Um, the rightmost glob goes with the top left mech bird. So that pair is done. And so now we just gotta take this pair out and we're good. Now, of course, don't forget, while, you know, if you do take down a mech bird, um, you still have that turn limit down there on the bottom right, so you can't spend too much time on the stage. <clears throat> All right, stage three, Samael, that left three. Uh, you have to kill him by that three because it's another white blast. <clears throat> so nobody else comes on the stage, so it's just Samael. He will uh, bump combo lock your monsters, um, but honestly, you got to do direct damage to be able to take him out. So uh, try to get under him or on the side of him. That was not ideal. <clears throat> Luckily, caught him from the other side, so we were able to do major damage. And uh, Yatagarasu will use his strike shot. And uh, if you don't uh, have a Yatagarasu, uh, it turns into a pierce type and then turns into a bounce immediately after hitting a wall. But he is very prone to irregular bouncing out there. So um, that's why I veered towards the center of Samael there. Uh, make sure I didn't spill out, even though I kind of did towards the end. All right, last stage. Um, that five in the middle is also a death counter. And um, what you want to do is take out one of the mech birds. And uh, after that, Samael will defense down himself. How nice of him. Um, and you're going to try and wedge yourself in between the left wall and Samael. If you can do that, you can do major damage. Now, uh, I misjudged the uh, death counter. I thought it was the top right one. So I thought, uh, oh, I have five turns left. Yatagarasu will get another chance, so I might as well take out the other mech bird. Um, unfortunately, no, it's the middle number, so uh, that Yatagarasu will not have another turn. So now, <coughs> power up with a Scold uh, bump combo and uh, pick up some mines. Speed up into the wall in between somehow. Good damage there. <coughs> now, Yatagarasu, I want to try and get in there, but no, nope. that was a pretty bad angle. Luckily, got some damage in from the top, but. Uh, not ideal and this is the last turn So we're gonna have school try and get in there and Luckily she wedges in there getting some extra damage help from uh, uh, Marishten so <clears throat> um, Yatagarasu helps out a lot here. That's his evil form. He has a speed up so that will uh, Help you move around in case you don't get that pinch the first time um, Of course you want a full bounce party. I'm not sure if uh, Pierce types will help just because you need to do so much damage in a single turn that uh, I'm not sure. P 
pierce types lends itself to do that kind of damage. Now, if you get all five stages complete, uh, you can go to the mission here and pick up five more orbs. So that, can, that gives you a total of 10 orbs for this stage. Pretty fun. Uh, a little frustrating in terms of the difficulty for sure, but um, as you can see, the first stage, you can imagine how many times I tried that. Uh, eventually, you get a groove of what the angles are, so... I mean, it's a matter of time, and you do have 15 days to clear it, so... Um, yeah, it was it was interesting. And since this, they said this was like the uh, winter stage, we can look forward to another set of five probably in the spring three more months later maybe so uh look forward to that and uh yeah that's it if you want to watch the previous stages go ahead and take the link uh in the comments or in the description area and you can check out that uh, i did timestamp where each stage starts and uh, you can take a look at there so thanks for watching and i believe i should be pulling the uh, valentine's gotcha next so look forward to that later tonight so until then bye bye